Hello and welcome back guys. Sorry about the noise, the air ambulance has just landed across the road. We're at Hollybrook Cemetery again today. Um, come to do the, the grave of Teresa De Simone, murder victim from 1979. If you watch my previous video, Teresa De Simone's murder location speaks for itself. Went and saw where, where it all happened. Um, if you haven't seen that video, go and have a look at it. But this one's about her grave, where she was laid to rest. I say my previous video goes into a little bit more detail what happened there, um, but this one's just coming to see her grave really. Um, so I'm going to go and pop across there now um, and we'll have a look um, at her grave. Um, I haven't cut the grass here yet, so I'm going to turn the camera off and start again when we're over there because I don't want any bloopers of me falling over. So I'll see you when we get there. Right, the grass seems a bit better here, so uh, let's get started. On the evening of the 4th of December 1979, 22-year-old Teresa De Simone had been working as a part-time barmaid at the Tom Tackle pub, now called the Mayflower Village, in Commercial Road, Southampton. By day, she was employed full-time as a clerk for Southern Gas... She had been employed at the pub for less than a month to work two evenings a week, partly to widen her social circle and partly to supplement her income to pay for her new Ford Escort car she had bought three months previously. When her shift finished at the Tom Tackle pub at 11 o'clock, she went to a nightclub with her friend Jenny Savage. They went in Jenny's car, leaving Teresa's Ford Escort at the back of the Tom Tackle pub to collect later. Teresa got into Jenny's car as Jenny was driving and they drove to the nightclub. Whilst there, neither of them had any alcohol as they were both driving. So consequently, they left a little bit earlier than planned. So Jenny drove Teresa back to the Tom Tackle pub car park where her car was. They arrived between 12.30 and 1 o'clock in the morning on the 5th of December, where they sat in the car for a little while and had a bit of a chat. Teresa then got out of Jenny's car and went over to her own car and Jenny Savage reversed her car out the car park, waved goodbye and then drove away. Now it's believed seconds after Jenny drove away, Teresa was approached by her killer. The next morning, on the 5th of December, at about 10 o'clock, Tony Pocock, landlord of the Tom Tackle pub, had a delivery coming and Teresa's car was in the carport. So he walked down to her car to see if there's any way that he could move it and that's where he found the body of Teresa in her car. He then called the police straight away. Now there's Teresa's grave just over there. But in my next video, I will go into great depth about the murder and what happened um, and uh, the murderer's name of who killed Teresa de Simone. But for now, let's go and have a look at her grave. And here's Teresa's grave. Nice little lot of flowers there with her name on it, Teresa. And it says here for her father. That's her stepfather. That says treasured memories of a loving husband, Michael. Sedotti, born 1930, past 2014. And then we've got Teresa's here. In memory of a loving daughter, Teresa Di Simone, who was tragically taken away from us on December the 5th, 1979, aged 22. So we're just here to pay our respects, Teresa, and uh, sorry what happened. And may you rest in peace. And the helicopter's back, so on that note, I bid you farewell.